In this video, we're going to take a look at creating groups in Google Classroom. Your Education Plus license allows you to create static groups of students in Google Classroom. This will be a great way to put your students in groups. If you have a red group and a blue group, or if you have students working on projects, this is awesome for differentiating content to your students. The great thing about student groups is that you control this. This is a teacher facing tool students do not know that they are in a group. Students can be in more than one group at a time and you can change and customize and rearrange these groups as many times as you need. Now there's a variety of ways that you can create groups. You can create them on the classwork tab, but we're gonna to go to the people tab and create our groups here. So I'm gonna click people and we'll see our students that you have in class. And to create groups, you're going to click on groups. Now, I don't have any groups created yet, so uh, but your groups will appear here. So we're going to go ahead and create a group. So I'm going to create one group that I'm going to call the Ducks. And um, I'm going to add some students to the Ducks. And I'm going to create. And I'm going to create another group called the Chicks. And we're going to put um, some students in that group as well. Um, we're going to add one more. Now, at any time when you want to um, edit those groups, you can, you can also see who is in the group simply by clicking the arrow to expand it. You can edit the groups by clicking the More button and click Edit Group. And then you can add or take students out of the group. You can also delete a group if you no longer need it. Now, what this looks like on the Classwork tab, if we go to Classwork and we look at an assignment, we're going to go ahead and edit this assignment. And instead of assigning it to all students, we're just going to assign it to the chicks. Uh, they're the ones that need to do this particular assignment. So we're going to say Done. And three students, one group, Save. Those students will get this assignment. The other group who uh, the other students who are not in this group will not get this assignment. So student groups is a great way to differentiate content for your students. And remember, students do not know which group they are in.